Okay. Hello, everybody. I apologize. This is a couple of days late, um, but we did do the camera drawing. Mark Caden, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Mark C A D D E N. Uh, I have sent you an email. You won the camera for this month. So. Uh, send me your mailing address and we'll get that camera out to you. Um, I do have, as a reminder, I have two more cameras left because I did find another camera in my case. Um, the additional camera is an Everflash, a Keynote Everflash 10. Um, I don't know anything about the camera, uh, but it is kind of an odd retro looking uh, chromed plastic edged camera with a nice leather case so uh, that'll be the last camera um, anyway uh, moving on so a couple of weeks ago I was looking for a pinhole lens for my Fuji X-H1. I was actually hoping to uh, maybe get the Holga uh, little plastic lens. Um, I have that for the Canon. I should probably, what I might do is get the adapter uh, to put Canon lenses on this. Um, anyway, ran across this lens. Now, it's not a pinhole lens, but it was, I believe, $27. Um, so it was extraordinarily cheap. Let's see. Back to where I can see. So here's the lens. This is an F10 30 millimeter. And as you can see, it is an extremely thin lens. It is fixed focus. Um, Of course, it doesn't come with a lens cap, so over time it's going to get dust and probably environmental stuff on it. Um, anyway, I've taken a number of uh, pictures with it. mostly sunset pictures so I figure we'd take a look at those but first let me see what lens I want to say it's like a milky lens uh, I found it on Amazon in my order history Search for lens. Okay. I will flip this around here in a second so you guys can see the details here. on site. Now zoom out here in a second. Okay, focus free. F10. Basically it's a body cap lens. And as you can see it was quite cheap. Um, 
So, anyway, I bought this lens. I figured I'd give it a shot just to see if maybe I could use it for some creative stuff. Um, what I'm afraid of, and I don't know this for sure, is that the lens probably doesn't have much character to it. So we're going to flip over and find out. So I have Windows Explorer open here. File Explorer, I should say. Let us take a look. Go to the end of these. Oh, actually, let me sort it by type. Okay. Maybe it's got some character to it. Let's take a closer look here. So it's interesting here. Um, so this is sunset. So I'm not entirely sure if this is vignetting. Probably is a little bit, at least here in the corners. Um, let's move up a bit here. This image might be easier to see if I'm getting vignetting out of this, which I wouldn't mind. So I'm going to say based on this, no. Um, with the fixed focus lens, um, well, supposedly everything from roughly 10 feet to infinity is supposed to be in focus. Um, at f10 um, yeah I don't know it's I should probably try taking some different type of pictures let me see back out here let's see Um, obviously, the this is not <laughs> in focus. Um, so yeah, nothing is in focus. You know, maybe infinity is, but you know, this is probably two hundred yards away, and it's not in focus. Um, so. With that being said, I am not surprised oh, cursor. Um, you know it's kind of what I expected unfortunately um, you know what I was hoping for was that 
this would potentially have like a light leak and maybe I'll, you know, uh, modify this lens. It is after all only a $25 lens. Um, and I didn't even see who made it, but you know, uh, this is what happens when you buy uber cheap new lenses. Uh, yeah, they're just not worth it. Uh, for 25 bucks, I bet I can find a really nice Nikon or Canon or, uh, you know, even, even a Pentax K-mount lens on like KEH or MPB. Um, or even some of the other uh, knockoff brand stuff. So, let's see. That was any better. I mean, you can tell what stuff is, but yeah. so anyway, uh, that's going to be it for today. Remember to uh, register to the last couple of drawings for a free camera, and eventually we might find other cameras to give away. Um, I will let everybody know when that happens, um, and if that does happen. Um, or we start getting some Patreon subscribers. And if you like this page, uh, like this channel, please think, consider uh, signing up for a Patreon page. And uh, anyway, like and subscribe the page. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. Bye.